What is the role of an attorney in the probate process? Attorney Christopher Hayner explains, Probate is the process of having a deceased person's last will and testament validated by the surrogate's court. The person who is named or nominated as executor in the will should contact an attorney knowledgeable in estate administration matters. Having a last will and testament admitted to probate in New York requires that a probate petition be prepared and executed, that the original last will and testament of the decedent be filed with the surrogate's court, that the required court filing fee be paid, and that the heirs at law or distributees either sign a waiver document or be summoned to court to explain why they agree that the will should be admitted to probate or denied probate. Assuming all court-required documents have been filed, and further assuming nobody objects to the will being admitted to probate, the court will issue a decree, appoint an executor, and formally admit the will to probate, after which the process of estate administration begins. If a New York resident dies without having a last will and testament, then anybody who is an heir at law or distributee of the deceased should meet with an attorney knowledgeable about estate administration so the family can begin the process of having an administrator appointed to administer the decedent's estate. Unlike with a probate proceeding, the administrator of the estate will make distributions pursuant to the New York State laws of intestacy and not pursuant to a last will and testament. However, like in a probate proceeding, the administrator still has the responsibility to collect estate assets, open an appropriate estate bank account, and make appropriate distributions. Call now for a personalized evaluation or visit his website at www.chainerlaw.com.